Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with the Ruco F11 GIM2 unboxing. Now I just got this. Uh, I'm fairly excited about it because supposedly it's a drone that is very similar to like your other brand name drones like GJI and stuff like that, but it's a much, much lesser cost. Okay, I think I got this one for $449. Uh, it's got a 4K camera in it. It's got a two-axis gimbal, uh, and uh, it's supposed to have uh, a long uh, range limit, you know, where you can go out far. Sorry about that. <laughs> Remember, this whole YouTube thing is new to me, so I've got to get used to all this. Uh, but I do appreciate you watching this, okay? Thank you. Uh, and if you do like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I guess I should say that, too. Uh, but anyway, this thing is supposed to be a, a good one, so we're going to unbox it in this video, and then the very next video will be a flight uh, review. So we'll go out and we'll actually fly it around, we'll see what kind of video it does, we'll make sure it flies well, and, uh, and we'll see what it comes up with. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing of it. <clears throat> so the first thing I noticed, unfortunately, is the box has kind, of, uh, kind of got some damage to it, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Uh, here's the damage that it's got to it. As you can see here, um, it's kind of indented here and it's indented up here. But I don't think, but I don't think that's going to damage it because I'm pretty sure it came in a case. So let's take a look and see. <clears throat> okay, nothing left in the box. So I'm just going to set the box right here. And uh, my lights are glaring on it. Sorry about that. Again, this whole YouTube thing is new to me. So we're going to uh, do our best. Turn it like that right there, maybe. Okay, so it did come in a nice plastic bag here. Okay, so it did come in a nice box. All right, this is a, uh, I would consider this not a hard shell, but it's not a soft shell. I can kind of squeeze it, but uh, it is... It is somewhat hard, so let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we have inside. Okay, right off the bat, it's got a nice little cover here. Oh, look at this. Okay, so here's the remote. Let me show you how all this is packaged. So as you can see here, as soon as I take out the uh, this piece of foam rubber here, you can see how it's packaged. It's got some stuff up in here. This would be the drone, of course. This would be the controller. This would be one of the batteries. And I'm almost positive I ordered one with two extra batteries. Oh, it's got a battery in it. Okay. And then there's another battery, and then there's a battery. Okay, so that's three batteries. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And take a look at it here. All right. So it appears as though this doesn't move up so it's going to be kind of small maybe I don't know if I can even figure out how to get it open <laughs> I guess they I guess the old man proofed it because this old man can't seem to get it open for some reason well I guess I should have brought a knife with me so that's not going to open up but I don't think this thing extends at all, so I will have to, uh, I don't know how in the world you'd put a, oh yeah, it does extend. Okay. Sorry about that. I just got to be able to get into it. I have never in my life, and I'm sorry if you hear dishes clanging around. I am not in a restaurant. I'm actually upstairs in my house, uh, and but the uh, kitchen is directly below me, and I think my wife has chosen now to do the dishes. So if you can hear that, I apologize. Okay, so it does come up. Okay. But that's not very far. Boy, I'll tell you what. Take a look at this. That's, that doesn't open up very far. So I'll have to figure out something for that. Because I was planning on putting an 8-inch uh, Android tablet in it. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that without printing something out, 3D printing it or whatever. Uh, here's an antenna. And here's an antenna. And oddly enough, oh, okay, there's wires in both of them. Okay, so I've seen some reviews out there where these antennas, uh, only one of them has wires in it, but this one actually has wires in both of them. So both antennas are correct. 
I would imagine one of these is 2G, 2.4G, and one of them's 5. So I would imagine that. I do like this remote, though, the way it pulls down. It gives you more beef on the remote. Okay. And the sticks. Oh, I like the sticks, too. Those are nice sticks. Take a look at that. Let's see here. Let me get these antennas back up. Take a look at these sticks. Boy, these are nice. Nice metal sticks. They're not plastic. They're nice metal sticks on both of them. Okay, so that works pretty good. Very good. Uh, okay, so we've got this. We just have to figure out, we just have to charge it. Let's pull the drone out. <clears throat> this is the interesting part right here. Would you not agree with that? <laughs> now, let's see here. They have uh, put a piece of paper over this. So I'm going to have to figure out how to rip that paper. I gotta say their packaging is very well. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to see that, that they didn't skimp on packaging. They really packaged it well. So I would imagine that it would be uh, very rare to get one of these that's already broken. But you do have to pull out the top one first. I do know that because if you pull out the bottom one first, uh, the top one will get hung. Okay. So you do have to pull out the the legs with the 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 arms with the legs on them. Okay, you do have to pull those out first. Let's go ahead and pull those out. Then we pull the bottom ones out. All right. I got to say that's pretty nice. And it came with a gimbal. Um, it came with a gimbal guard. You can see it right here. The gimbal guard. All right, that's nice. And then the batteries just pop right out, just like that. You just press two little buttons on either side, and uh, they just pop right out and right back in. All right, that's nice. All right, so we got that. Now we did get another battery here. Uh, so this is a second battery. It comes for the 449 price. It comes with three batteries. So this would be the second battery here. Okay, and then the third battery should be in this box right here. This should be the third battery. Nope, that's extra blades. So they actually cheated me out of a battery. There's the charging cable. Here's the manuals. So they did. They actually cheated me out of a battery. Shame on you, Ruko. Well, that's a big no-no. Um, so it's got a battery in it, and then it's got a battery here. You know what? It only came with two batteries. And I'm not going to cut this out. Normally I would uh, say I'll cut all this out, but I'm going to let you see how crazy I am. I remember now, it only came with two batteries, not three. I'm thinking of the uh, DJI Mavic. <laughs> okay, so I apologize for that. Uh, it only came with two batteries, so and that's what it ordered. It did come with extra blades, as you can see here, extra blades in the box. And it was supposed to come with two charging cables, and I only see one in here. Okay, so they did forget my extra charging cable. Uh, yes, they forgot my extra charging cable. So, that is a boo-boo, for sure. And sometimes it's hard to match cables because they use, you know, special ones. Um, but I guess this will just have to charge the remote at one time. Yep, I'll just have to charge the remote with it first and then charge the batteries with it second or something and go from there. Uh, but anyway, I do like this. Boy, this is nice. Um, let's take a look at the remote here. I'm going to peel this off. Sorry, I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. So there's the remote. Oh, it's got 70% battery already in it. There we go. 
Now it's looking for the uh, copter. It's looking for the drone. Uh, as you can see, it's trying to connect to it, and it can't find it, so I'll just turn it back off. What a nice remote. Uh, I really like that. i got to say, I like the beefiness of the remote. I like the fact that these things come down, and they're not... They're, they, you know, they're easy to put back in, but they don't just fold back in. I, you wouldn't be flying and they just fold up on you. And it almost looks like you could put an, something in here. If you look at these spots here, it's got slides in it. I don't know if you could or not, but I guess you could put a phone up in there, I suppose. And then you got to use that cable also to hook the hook your phone or remote to to this. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, this has been a fast review, um, or unboxing, I should say. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to go this fast. But since we've unboxed it, we've got everything out of it. Uh, I've got the manuals, all that stuff. Um, let me see if it tells how long the batteries need to charge. Let's take a look at that. Uh, yeah, see it says USB charging cable times two. Let me show you that. So if you look right here, you'll see it says USB charging cable times two. And as you can see, I only got one. And there's no other charging cables in here, so um, that's kind of bad. So if somebody from Ruco is watching this, please send me another charging cable. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, that's it with the unboxing. Uh, I can't wait to get out and fly it. It's going to be fun. Uh, just watch for that next video to come up. I should have it up in a few days to a week. Uh, and we will see how well this thing flies and what kind of video it takes. But there you have it. The Ruco F11 Gem 2. Got it right off of Amazon. That uh, was $449. And uh, I got to say, so far, this thing looks nice. It's nice and beefy. It's got a two-axis gimbal on it. I didn't, I didn't ever take this off, did I? Um, there we go. Peel this off. So it does have a nice cover to be able to keep your gimbal in place. But I don't know how you put the cover back on it. Huh. Okay, I'll just keep filming here. I don't want to break the gimbal. There we go. Oh, it just snaps right back in place. Now you can uh, travel with it. You won't break your. Uh, you won't break it. And then to take it out, you. Oh, you pull it right there. Okay, pull it there. And then it just comes right off. Okay, there we go. And it's got a two axis. Oh boy. That thing moves very, very easily. So you would want to be careful with this. You would want to be careful with it. Uh, the camera, as you can see, it moves very, very easily. It, it's uh, on a stabilization. But you know what? That's no different than a DJI. Uh, it moves like that. So you should never really move one of these by hand because you can mess up the uh, little motor servos in it uh, but I'm just kind of testing it out just to see just exactly how loose it might be or you know fragile fragile is the word I'm looking for hey I'm just keeping it down to earth here if I mess up I'm just gonna keep right on filming uh, that way I don't have to do much editing and you get to see how big of an idiot I am <laughs> okay so anyway so this is it the Ruco F11 Gem 2 and just watch for the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I need subscribers, please. Uh, help me grow this channel. Uh, my son and I, we're trying to grow this channel. We're trying to uh, bring you reviews and flights and RC cars and trucks and uh, just all kinds of different things we may talk about on here. So please like and subscribe and share this video with others and watch for the, uh, and click that bell so that you know when I put up the next video where we're flying this thing, okay? All right. Well, you have a good day, and thank you for watching.